more of those entertainment and sports Keep today. God. Keep God first. Watch me on entertainment and sports today. Stay tuned for entertainment and sports today. A big winner in the chat. This is Gilles Marini and Carol Marini and watch us on Entertainment Sports Today. Hey, what's up? I'm WB Alexander and you're watching Entertainment Sports TV. What's up? It's your boy Taj Jordan, like Taj.0, but I'm 2.0 and you're watching Entertainment and Sports Television. And welcome to Entertainment Sports Today. We're here live in the Peterson Museum. The Automotive Museum, that is, in uh, Los Angeles, right in Wilshire and Fairfax. We're here for the opening night of Super Bowl weekend. This is the premier gift lounge. It's the luxury suite gift lounge here, put on by an amazing company. They do this all the time at the big events. Uh, they draw the biggest names in show business. And obviously, for the Super Bowl, they have the biggest names in Super Bowl. And they got people like me that got the Super Bowl ring here when the Denver Broncos beat the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm very honored to have that. Now, at the gift lounge, they have the latest in product. And now I'm going to introduce you to the, our TV show host, Margie Ray, who's going to be taking you around. Hey, it's so great to be here. And I think you're going to have a wonderful time as we walk through this whole gifting suite. It's got all kinds of wonderful wines and, and clothing and jewelry and perfumes and candles and oh so fun and so many athletes incredible athletes they're not just fabulous athletes but they are also so friendly and and really open to taking pictures with fans and and they really enjoy the gifts yeah which is really nice because you know they can afford anything but it's they're the, really into the this benefits of being a celebrity and athlete is you get all the freebies that's why they're all lined up here athletes multimillionaires, and people like us we enjoy it just the same, getting all the freebies. That's great. And not just that, but it's usually newer products that you can't buy yet that are unique. One product that we interviewed more than once now is a Cardinal, is a great uh, cognac that has a 600-year-old history. You'll be seeing that interview today. We did it twice now. You can't get it anywhere, but it's worth over $1,000. It's an amazing quality to it. Each bottle is 21-year aged liquor. It's amazing. What was your favorite, Margie? Um, well, what was my favorite? I don't know. I liked it all. Well, they have I, a lot I, of women's products, you know, like beauty, makeup. They have a lot of a uh, new thing now is CBD for pain relief and things like that. Um, and they always have women's, you know, like, what, don't they have some women's stuff here? Oh, too? yeah, a lot of women's products, a lot of cosmetics and, uh, and even services. Great services to keep you in shape and make you look younger. Oh, I mean, yes. what woman doesn't want that? The lucky people that showed up today, they got a gift certificate worth $1,100 for two 30-minute sessions for toning, for toning your abs. And, uh, and they're going to treat Margie to a facial and a few day of beauty. But if you come here today, they give stuff like that, you know, again, you don't see anywhere. So thank you so much for joining us. We're going to go around now, and um, we'll see you at the next gifting suite after this. At the gift lounge, we got some amazing products as you see. This is a little table, has a little bit of everything. This is the cognac, and some of the wines and products there. So stay tuned for interviews now for Mark. We'll be right back. Okay, so here we are with Giles Marini. Is that, what, is that how everyone pronounces your name? Because I've heard it pronounced like 20 different ways. It's Jack and Jill. I'm the other one. Jill. That easy. <laughs> so um, I have interviewed him so many times. I even ran into him in my bank. You did. <laughs> There's no getting. <laughs> it's like it's only 18.6 million people, but you always meet people in the bank somehow. Exactly. It's like he's stalking me, you know. And and, and his wife is right there. She's gorgeous. I mean, you know, you got to get over me, you know. <laughs> I have to. Maybe no, never. <laughs> okay, so tell me, um, what is your latest project? Because you've been doing so many different things. Of course, he's best known for his part in Sex in the City, the movie. Yes, that was a while ago. Um, De uh, Deadly Games, I just finished the film, uh, I just shot the rookies, 
uh, Dollface coming out tomorrow, I believe. Oh, tomorrow? Yes. Well, it's all streaming now. Yes. Hulu. Uh, there's a lot of different projects. I never keep up with it, but it's been great. Creating wise is amazing. Life is a. Uh, la vie est un long fleuve tranquille sometimes, and everything is good. You know, and he's. You know, if, if it just weren't for his looks, you know, but he's also, I understand hearing through the grapevine that you're also very easy to work with and oh, fun to work with. Lovely. Um, well, that's, I'm very proud of that. Honestly, uh, this is one of the most important things you need to do. When, you, when you're on set, you have to, to lead by example. You have to be a good person at all time, even if sometimes things are difficult. Just never forget that you're in a very privileged place in this business. So when he works, it works, so be kind. That's it. So sweet, and he's so modest too. And and you were even on Dancing with the Stars, which Twice. <laughs> and people loved him on that. Now, do you dance with your wife? Uh, more with my daughter. Oh, oh, really? How old is your daughter? Fifteen now. Wow. I danced with her since she was a baby. So. Oh, that's so nice. Now, what's the secret to this great relationship? Because that's uh, it's almost unheard of in Los Angeles. All right. Well, the problem the problem, maybe the advantage I have is like every see, it's not because she's here. I'm, I'm dead serious. I'm very much in love with Carol since day one and it never stopped. So uh, that and a lot of sex. Uh, so what did she do that made you fall in love with her like that? Who she is. You know, I don't know anybody who doesn't... I don't know anybody in this world who ever says anything negative about my wife. She is truly an angel and I don't know why I deserve her. Seriously. Oh my gosh. And how did you guys meet? In a bar. In a neutral ground because... I'm from a little project, she's from a little other project, so those projects never meet. So one day I was at the bar, I met her, and that was it. Wow, you have big plans for Valentine's Day? We never really do a lot of Valentine's extravaganza. Well, we have to for social media nowadays. And I don't want to sound like, oh, again, but we, we still together all the time. So it's Valentine's every day? Every day, yeah. What more could you ask for? My last question, what's the best advice that you would give an up-and-coming actor? Don't do it for the fame. <laughs> oh, see, that's good. Do it because you cannot live without it. Ask that question to yourself and say, can I wake up in the morning and not be an actor? And if you say yes, and you want to do this, this, and that, or a couple of selfies on Instagram, then don't freaking do this because it's going to kill you. I like that advice. And that's coming from someone that has made it. Wife? I need you over here. Oh I, I have never heard a husband talk like this about his wife. Super lucky. Very, oh. very lucky. You, he, he said that the reason why, you, the secret to you guys being together for so long is that he has been in love with you since day one. That's what he tells me. But also the same thing for me, you know. So it's, it, we're very, we very, uh, we complete each other very well. Mm -hmm. Okay, the truth is she does pretty much everything and I just <laughs> exist. That's it. That's not true. That's not true. Now, what is the truth? Tell me the truth. He's, he's, he's taking care of a woman like men should take care of a woman very, very, very well. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about... She's talking about sex. <laughs> Just be honest. She's talking about sex. That's it. No, I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> she's not denying it, so... <laughs> oh, my God. She just turned red. She's so cute. Oh! Well, he told me it's Valentine's Day every day with you too. Every day. So every day. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we, don't, we don't even like to really like, oh, it's Valentine's. No, we don't. You don't need to do that if you do it every day. Valentine's, uh, hopefully tonight in a couple hours again, and there you go. So you men have a lot to learn from this guy. Maybe, maybe yeah. not. <laughs> well, congratulations on such a wonderful husband. Congratulations on such a great wife. And it's so wonderful to talk to you again. I keep running into your husband. I don't, it's, you know, but... No competition here. Look at her. She's adorable. Oh, so oh my god. Thank you. So you cute. look amazing. Are oh, you kidding me? Did, did you get that? <laughs> <laughs> Watch what us on entertainment and sports today. today. <laughs> Thank you so much. Perfect. Perfect. Here at this gift lounge, this is one of our favorite products because it goes back like 700? 700 years ago. 700 years ago. So he is going to tell you all about this product. 
All right, so what people don't know is that actually Armagnac is 200 years older than Cognac. You know, is it really? I didn't know that. Yes, actually Armagnac is 700 years old. Cognac is 500 years old. Interesting. And, um, actually, a fun fact, actually 98% of the Cognac is exported out of France and 50% of the Armagnac stays in France. So French people are drinking Armagnac. That's why I like to call it France's best kept secret. Interesting. See, now you know. Now, tell us about this particular one. Absolutely. So this uh, product named Cardinal Dufour. Uh, so this gentleman was a priest from the Armagnac region. And then he became Cardinal and is dating back to 1300. And this gentleman actually was a scientist. And one of his discoveries happened to be distillation. He actually wrote a book in 1310 saying that Armagnac has 40 different virtues. And that book is actually today at the Vatican Library in Rome. And it's been there since the 16th century. Oh, that is fascinating. And look, it, just even the bottle, it's such uh, incredible... I mean, I don't think I would ever drink it. I would just keep it like this forever because it's just such an incredible gift. Look at this, especially for Valentine's Day. It looks like a. So it does. We have a new design on it, a new design patent, and uh, you can see the the cap is actually uh, the top, the hat of a of a cardinal. You know, with the uh, son of a gun, it is. <laughs> it was very. And uh, the youngest eau de vie in the blend is twenty. So if you do the average based on the volume, it's actually a 30 years old product. And what is very unique about it, there is no sugar and no caramel added at all. Interesting. Well, it's a beautiful bottle. It tastes incredible. And um, it makes a great gift or just spoil yourself, right? Absolutely. Thank you very much. Now, how can they get it? Uh, so we actually have like 16 different stores all over Los Angeles. Uh, I think the one that is very popular that everybody knows is Wally's in Beverly Hills. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, yes. and uh, there's another one also a very popular one in Glendale called Remedy, Remedy Liquor. And, uh, and yeah, there's um, like 15 other different liquor stores all over the, the city. And can they also order it online? Absolutely. You can check out uh, the website. With, uh, Which is? Uh, Cardinaldufour.com. And uh, you can uh, directly order from the website, yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much for talking with us. And we'll see you at the next booth. Here we are with Jamal Hill. And look how handsome you look today. I love this outfit. Yes, absolutely. Thank you very much, Margie. Like you said, Jamal Hill, Team USA, Tokyo 2020 Paralympic bronze medalist for swimming. Wow, yes, nice. Yes, ma'am. Very nice. Absolutely. So really happy to be here at the Peterson today and a big fan of you and the work you do. So happy to talk with you. Oh, thank you. Yes. So how difficult was it to make it to the Olympics? Oh, you know, just like only 1% of people in the world do it. So <laughs> pretty <You're> difficult. <laughs> pretty difficult. It, it took, uh, you know, the five-year journey and uh, a lot of people had to invest in me for me to get there. So it was a team effort. But they invested well because, oh, this baby's heavy. Got some to it, Margie. Ooh, ooh. This is the real deal. This is not the replication. I like it. Oh, that must be killing your neck. This is really, really heavy. I'm used to carrying My medal wasn't around. this heavy when I won. <laughs> really? You no. Oh, well, she's teasing me. I love me. it. Okay. I love it. He actually, I got it for like you a split see, second. Got, like, oh, wow. Well, I'm standing here next to a, you know, well, uh, it's an absolute right, pleasure. Time. It's an absolute pleasure. <laughs> So yeah. tell me, what's your latest project? I mean, are you, are you continuing to yeah, swim? Uh, are you I'm doing commercials? Mm -hmm. Continuing to swim, but uh, I run a nonprofit foundation. We teach a million people a year how to swim, the Swim Up Hill Foundation, absolutely. Oh. And then uh, I run a media platform called Aquatics Today. So we support a lot of lifeguards and people who make that swim education possible. That's wonderful. Yeah, so uh, what's your website so people can you yeah, look you up? Absolutely. Definitely. I think the best thing to do is check me out on iTunes. I have a new podcast called The Aquatics Today Podcast. Episodes drop every Tuesday. So come and hang out with me. Wonderful. We will. Yeah, thank, thank you so you. much. All right, Mark. And right now we're hanging out here at we the Peterson the Museum because it's fun and they've got a lot of goodies. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Thanks thank for talking you. to me. Okay. Bye-bye. Yeah. I'm here with Tosh and WB. And WB's little one. Billie Jean. Billie Jean. Yeah. Now, WB, tell me, what are you doing here? Uh, came out for a good day. Um, check out the event. Check out these uh, up and coming, if some established, 
um, businesses uh, to support that, um, try out new products, and uh, have a good day. And Tosh, you were telling me how important WB is, and he's actually being very, very modest. <laughs> yes, WB is very important to, in the NFL because he works in the Players Association. And all my guys in the league who are players, we know that the Players Association is key to us while we're in the league and our transition out the league. And you are being so modest, like, yeah, yeah, I'm just... You know, it, it's, a, it's a normal day, you know. It's a normal day. And yet, look at how impressed everybody is with you. Yeah. <laughs> and? Well, you know, I, I, I get to, uh, I'm very blessed to do what I do and uh, be around athletes all day and entertainers. And, you know, just being in that, that world is, is amazing, you know. How blessed can you be to come to an event where you just get thrown free, free things and try out new things, so... I like the fact that you said you're very blessed. Most people don't say that. They just say they're lucky. I like yeah, right. the fact that you're blessed. And, and Tosh, I guess you're blessed also with this incredible product that you're going to tell WB about, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. So what I have here is called Slick Spirited Ice. These are adult ice pops. I'm going to say this once. These are not for kids. <laughs> not for kids, bro. Yeah, so don't even think about it, little one. So, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so, so basically on a day like this, where it's wild hot, you at a beach, you at a pool, you know, you, you need to cool off, take yourself one of these popsicles out the freezer, call it a day. Bring this joint to a party, you finna be the life of the party, and everybody gonna talk about you, and you ain't gotta do nothing. Just bring the goods, sit back, relax, and enjoy your ice pop. I bet you you're dying to have one of those, aren't you? Oh yeah, slick, come on. S L I Q. Slick. Love it. Okay, I'm Kevin Butler, and the name of the product is Adobe Road Wines with an S.com. And then we have the new racing series of wines as well. The motorsports theme labels. Hi, here we are with Kevin Butler, and he owns an incredible winery. And then we spoke to Kevin Buckler, who is the owner and CEO of Adobe Road Winery. Before that, He's a very famous race car driver who won the very historic and well-known 24 Hours of Le Mans and three times he won the 24 Hours of Daytona. So then he started the Adobe Road Winery. So he designs all the bottles that look just like racing car items as you see here in this interview that Margie did. Incredible. And the wine tastes good too. So stay tuned for more from this incredible Businessman? It shows your two passions. You want to explain what that is? That one right there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm here with Alana Morgan, Hi. and she is Miss Teen Universe USA. Yes. Now, there's a title. Yes, I'm really excited. I get to represent Miss Teen, represent the United States at Miss Teen Universe in Dubai in two weeks. In Dubai? Yes. Oh, wow. I'm very, very excited. My first time out of the country, and I get to promote my platform, and it's just an amazing opportunity for me, and I get to share other platforms as well, so I'm really excited. And what is your platform? So I actually, my platform is domestic violence. My family and I are all survivors of domestic violence violence and it also goes hand in hand in connection with kindness and love so I work with domestic violence to promote more kindness and love in our society today because my family and I know what it's like firsthand to be survivors of domestic violence so that's my platform to spread more kindness and love in our society in relation to that that's a wonderful platform now when did you win I won in August I became Miss Teen Universe USA in August and what have you done lately uh, since you won so lately, actually, the past holidays, I was able to provide over 5,000 toys to children in need for Christmas nice. with multiple brands. Um, I've also been able to give back to those who don't have food, like prepare lunches and meals for the homeless. I've also been able to, recently I created a 50 states challenge. Actually, during the pandemic, I created this on TikTok virtually to get teens together across the United States of America to spread more love and kindness. Oh, that is amazing. You are an amazing young lady. Well, no wonder that she's Miss Universe, Miss Teen Universe USA. Thank you. Now, how old are you? I'm 18. 18? So just made it for the, the teen, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I have to ask you this. Um, how did you feel when uh, Chesley, the former Miss USA, 
took her own life? Um, that was a very sad moment. My mom and I loved her. We watched all her videos. We really supported her. She was an amazing queen. I watched her win. And to see that, I work with the Matthew Silverman Memorial Foundation, and our message is to never make a temporary decision permanent. Yes. Um, I really wish that someone would have been able to guide her in the direction to love herself and just know who she is. It's so important to realize that these words can affect you. Don't let negative words affect you. And I just wish she had someone there for her, especially in that moment. Right. Yes, I heard that you're always going to find people that don't like you. I mean, as gorgeous as you are, and she is gorgeous. Let me tell you, I'm this close to her, and she's flawless. But there's always going to be somebody that doesn't like you, that thinks you're too short or too tall, too young, too old, too fat, too skinny, whatever. And you can't let it get to you. I, you know, when I heard that with her, she had some people that were saying rude things about her online. Yeah, I know she had an amazing support group around her, her family and her mom and everyone. Her family was always supportive and she always showcased that through social media. Right. So I just think it's really important to be there for those people who you don't know what's going on on the other side of the fence. Right. And social media is a very powerful tool and you have to like take breaks from that sometimes and not let it get to you. Exactly. And, and to realize, like I said, all she needed to do was just say, I don't care. I'm Miss USA. Say what you want to say. Like you. Say, say whatever you want to say. Thank I am you. Miss Teen Universe USA. So yeah. nothing's going to bother me. Yeah. So it, I wish it could be that simple. It's not for a lot of girls. As a matter of fact, I think it's the prettier girls that feel the worst mm -hmm. because they're not used to it and, and they don't really know how to handle it. Mm -hmm. but, um, but you, little girl, you're going down a completely different path and you're going to really make this moment in your life make a huge difference for many people. You've already started it. Yeah, so yeah. keep going. It's very important to give back and I'm really excited to continue to do that. Thank you so much Thank for talking so much to us. For having me. Thank you. Well, what a great end to the whole day. <laughs> we get to speak to this gorgeous girl, get some great advice and um, go home. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here at Entertainment and Sports Today. I'm Margie Ray. I'm Alana Morgan, Miss Teen Universe USA. Bye. That's a very good point. I mean, entertainment and sports today.